Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to me. <laughs> no fucking way. <laughs> no fucking way. <laughs> Holy shit! This is the best birthday I've ever had. <laughs> 4,380! Perfect. Let's just get a good look at it. What a perfect way to end off the trio on my fucking birthday. Holy shit! <laughs> Oh, beautiful. So now, I run. And I save. <laughs> That's so fucking great. <laughs> well, anyways, now with that, I am now safe to catch it. Because there is no reason there, it's impossible for me to fail at, um, by now. Do I still have my heal walls? Yeah, I have 20. Is that enough? <laughs> it should be enough. 4,380. Let's fucking go. Um, so I guess at that point, uh, I'll get to everybody when I've caught it. Because it's going to take quite a while. So, see you then. There we fucking go. Holy shit! There's no way I'm getting this video uploaded by the end of the day. <laughs> Hello, Musprit. Yes. And... I misspelled. Add to my party. And who gets the boot? Uh, shelter, you can fuck off. <laughs> Send the Pokemon to the box. I didn't I didn't know BDSB did that. But let's see. You are naive. Interesting. Oh it Heal ball. <laughs> I thought I thought heal ball was just effective on certain Pokemon. <laughs> uh, when they were asleep, I didn't realize it actually healed them. Brain rot. Anyways, I'm very, very satisfied. Because now I have all three. Another trio complete. And what a fucking day to end it on. Oh, quickly. Uh, before I forget, I need to know for sure if... I, I actually haven't checked yet. Does Snow Point have Diamond Snow? It does! But I can't have Pokemon out! Pokemon can't follow me in this place? This is actually rigged. 
I've never felt so disappointed in my life. Why the fuck can't Pokemon follow me in this area? Ah, uh, this is the this is the best part about having a birthday on the same date as uh, Junichi Masuda is the fact that uh, Snow Point has Diamond Dust, and it's pretty much my way of celebrating, and I really really fucking like it, and I wish Mesprit were. <laughs> Could pop out so I can fucking uh pain. Hello, my choke. Very upsetting that Pokemon don't follow. I know for a fact they don't follow you in uh, lakes either. So, where to go? Let's find the Pokemon League. Let's see if let's see if Pokemon pop out here. Yep. This music is actually fucking gorgeous, holy shit. <laughs> this music is really fucking relaxing. That's probably one of the best good things about this game, is that it has a really good soundtrack. And the night themes are <laughs> really, really beautiful. Hello, Cerebellum. You took a while, but thank you for showing up on my birthday. I greatly appreciate it. It made this hunt a lot more memorable. It was already really memorable to begin with. Um, the fact that I got that I get a chance to do a hunt that I did like a few years ago. And the contrast between how I felt during the Gen 4 hunt and this hunt are so staggering. Because before I hunted Gen 4 Mesprit, I found tweets and Discord messages of me saying, I'm not looking forward to that hunt. And that took like four four long months. And the encounter rate for each reset's about the same as this game. And then when I found out that um the remakes were um coming out, I'm like, please let me hunt Mesprit as a roamer. And then there was those rumors about being able to check the Pokedex, which were thankfully false. I'm just like, I don't want to do that. I don't want to release Mesprit and then look at the Pokedex. That is so anticlimactic. Because I'm probably not going to get a chance to hunt roaming Mesprit again. And I have no reason to hunt any other roamers, honestly. But this was a very memorable hunt. The fact that it went over odds is already I was really satisfied with because I didn't want this hunt to end too quickly. Because I like savoring a hunt. I like getting into the rhythm and the and the determination and the, um, to finish a hunt like this. Like, you, you, before you even start a hunt like this, you start pumping yourself up. Because you kind of have to be mentally prepared for a journey like that. And I see a lot of people, in this game specifically, because there's no more... Sh the shiny charm doesn't work for everything. It only works for eggs. So... I, I got comments on Azelf and uh, Yuxi saying of people getting to like 2,000, 3,000 and starting to lose that motivation that they have at the start. But for me personally, when you get a shiny within like the first day, it's exciting at first, but you don't really savor it. 
you, you don't really in, like the, the the feeling of finishing it doesn't last as long as like having a hunt go on for an incredibly long amount of time because it just feels more rewarding um like some of my longest hunts are more memorable because of how long they were uh Ruby, in ruby mawile in ruby Shadow Absol in Colosseum. Mesprit in Gen 4. Those are some of my most memorable hunts. Because of just how long they took. So to anybody that is currently, like, in a bit of a motivational rut with their hunts, take a break if needed. If you're starting to burn out, don't push yourself. Because then it's just gonna hurt. And if you keep pressing your luck like that, you're going to crash and not want to go back to this hunt for a long time. So like, take a day off, take a, take like a week off if necessary, or even a month. I did that for a few of my long hunts. Just do what's necessary to, to keep that motivation. Don't focus on the hunt. Do other things on the side. And you'll get there eventually. Um... What I always do is I always have a quota of encounters to do. I don't expect the shiny to show up. I just expect to reach the number I want for the day. Like today, I was just aiming to reach 4400 and then call it a day. That's it. I wasn't aiming to get the shiny. I was just aiming for a number because I can control that. I can't control when the shiny shows up, but I can control what I end my sessions on. And that has helped me a lot with my patience. It's, it may not work for everybody. So, that's just my two cents. But I find that when people push to get a shiny on a specific day, and they don't get it, all that drive dies immediately. And it kind of hurts to see. <laughs> it really hurts to see sometimes. So, Freddy new hunters for any current hunters that are just on a, a very long journey whether it be for the long hunt or the, the starters in this game anybody that's doing roaming mesprit because i've seen a lot of people doing roaming mesprit it's kind of shocking how many people have been doing a roaming mesprit in these games and it it it, it makes me happy to see people try out new hunts that's kind of something that I really like doing. Uh, but I'm just on a huge ramble now. Just wanted to go on a huge speech, I guess, because I've been getting comments about that that type of stuff. And I, for anybody that's made it this long, thank you. But I think it's worth talking about um, on a video like this. But feel free to talk about that in the comments if you want. I'm happy to I'm I'm happy to hear it. I read all the comments. So if you enjoyed this video, thank you so much for watching. And I'm Elite for W. This has been a shiny roaming mesprit. And I bid thee adieu.